have you looked into your opponent at all, Josh Silviera, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, have you been able to study him at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him fight live. I've seen him fight uh, on film. And, like, yeah, like, I've, I've had opportunities to study him. Solid fighter. Overall, solid mixed martial artist. You know, he's had experience and he's kind of grown up in it. So there have been things I got to pick off and watch over time. So, and I, and I always thought I'd be fighting him in the, in the, I go to battle in the championship bout. So, yeah, I'm down with him. Why did you think you were going to end up fighting him? Was there something you saw in him? Because, ma like, there. off the picture, he doesn't look like the most, yeah. you know. <laughs> no offense. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, I can see that. I mean, he's a little off the picture, yeah, the way he looks, I guess you could say. If you look at his dad's build and his build, yeah. it's very similar. So it's just, like, maybe their body type in general. But he's done well in his fights, and he's wrestled you know, at high levels, I guess. But uh, so I guess he's kind of just used to that. Like, if you look at DC, you better be like, yeah, this guy can't do much. But yeah, he's done well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, you know, watching the fight, and I thought like the matchups he was having, the way he was fighting, he was close last year, and then you know he lost, and then like there, there were just things like, and I saw the people that he was fighting too. Like, no, no, nothing to put Ty Flores down. But I, I didn't think Ty Flores gave him too much trouble if Josh could come to well, that fight really didn't get going because, you know, DeLon got uh, injured right away, right upon that one. And then the fight before that when he fought, I want to say Kai, um, or whoever he fought, I got to go back and look at it. But when he had that fight, you're like, oh, sorry. When he had that fight, it was very, um, the guy didn't have too much to give him an issue. So it's like the matchups he had were solid, mm. and he, he definitely took advantage of them. I don't think they were given to him at all. I think he just he put a game plan together, he negated what the guy did well, and, and and executed properly. He's got smart coaches and a good team around him. So that was that, and uh, I think he was motivated. So that's that's kind of when I started putting like the, the quick analysis on him. Uh, okay. Yeah. And um, just as far as you go, I don't really want to ask you about like game plans for the fight and things like that because – it things can change it's it's a crazy sport but i'm just curious um what do you think like your x factor is like because it seems like you have a, a different mindset so going into these fights and stuff um is there something you tell yourself like uh i just gotta be me like is there is there anything you're kind of telling yourself to that will be like your ticket to victory in that sense yeah i mean i, I always said it earlier in this conversation i say like every time it's like honor god and do my job like it's a lot bigger than me I mean, it's, okay. not, it's not so much get the title, get the victory. Like, I already know I won. That's yeah, that. I, I, I fight from victory. So it's like, what can I do like, to really reflect God's glory? And, it, and for me, like, MMA is my ministry, so it's bigger than me. And, you know, like, you can fight for your family, you can do all this stuff. But even bigger than all of that, like, to me, is my faith. I think that helps me love my family better. It helps me do this. And um, I, I know I'm called to be here. I, I work. I can outwork, out hustle, out fight anybody in a cage. And that's in, in, in any fight. Out side of like you know outside of the cage as well it's i'm going to battle you know take this guy out it's not like oh make a sport or i want what you want you want what i want no like, it's, it's not that like i'm going to take what's mine and, and take we'll take it so yeah definitely a mindset it's also like i have a deep i have a deep purpose i have a deep deep purpose for why i do this and i'm not here to um i'm not here to like play around with people and make it a sport it's not a sport to uh, you take people's life points away, it's not a sport. So that's mm -hmm. that's how I look at it. And I, I believe that's carried me through. And, and it goes, there are layers to that. You know, there are so much, there's so many, so many layers to it that, believe that it, I, it wasn't just strictly, oh, I feel like I'm better. I know I'm where I am and when I go get this title, I'm going to come to victory.